Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 or as far as I can tell the recordings are working. Ah, I'm scared. Um So we've we've made right. progress on Night right Song and have to keep going. Being in the gauntlet, but we haven't had to use the umbral gems yet. Is well and the relic was supposed to be in here, wasn't it? Is the is the relic the No, the relic is uh, supposed to be a living entity. Let's hmm. see what this does. Maybe there's another library? Mm. I'm wondering if it's got something to do with this mirror. I never figured out what the mirrors were supposed to do in the other Uh, like the place where we saw other Shar and mirrors. I don't know. Well, maybe there's another library? Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. We've already been in here. I don't remember what this does. Oh! Bye, everyone. Um, oh, place the umbral gemstone in the altar. Okay. <laughs> uh, man, I hope I have. I know that whatever this is, I think that I actually tried to get that. It didn't work. I remember now. There were those doors that I couldn't open. Uh, whatever. We have to go. We have things to do. Well, let me get all my friends on the contraption before I go up. I really want to finish Act 2. Like, that's kind of what I want to do. I, I don't think it's totally going to happen today. Come on, on. Come on, on, on. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you idiots. Get on. Let's see if I can get... I keep wanting to call her Char, which is not her name. And I think Asterion's on. Hopefully going up is the way we're supposed to go. And not somewhere on the main floor. My step. In here? Oh yeah, over here, okay. Well, we're, we're slowly getting to the point of no return. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your lady Shah. Uh -huh. The gauntlet of Shah. This mm. place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. You're wearing their armor. There are recesses on the altar that look intended uh -huh. to house something. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't have it. I wonder what the next move is. You have it. Journal updated. Find Catherine Thorne. You know, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. Well, uh, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. You detect the gentlest ah. of presences disturbing the temple's ancient stale air. It seems to encircle Shadowheart, welcoming her. I need to turn her her helmets off. Uh, what's going on? Tell me. It's fine. 
Really? I just feel we're on the right track. I'm right where I need to be. Under Lady Shah's gaze. Okay. That's spooky. Uh, let's see. Shadowheart. Yeah, just hide during dialogue. Well, no, we'll hide forever. It's not it's not an attractive helmet. But it is a cool helmet. Um, let's see how many saves I have. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, luckily most of them are on the cloud for the laptop. Hey. I just hesitate to like overwrite anything that's like too close because I'm like, what if I have to go back? But if I had to go back too far, I probably wouldn't do it at this point. I used to do that, and depending on the game, I might do that. But with Baldur's Gate, I'm like, listen, in her name. I got things to do. I got places to go. Are we good? Traversal gem. Just one traversal gem? Okay. The disc is moving. One step closer to finishing Lady Shah's gold. I'm surprised so much is still intact. What? I was like, we were there earlier. Oh, we're going down here now. Alson's in so many unhappy places. He's like, Catherine Thorne? Bad. Char? Bad. Do we have to examine anything? No? Oh, wait. That'll hard to level up. Get scared for a second. No time to dally. Lit up! And we can all level up. Yay. Find the relic. Chosen of Shar. That art got very close to proving herself. Yeah, but I think we should sit down and talk about the fact that we're supposed to kill a Selu Knight, and she hasn't said that yet. Like, like. What's her name here? Shadowheart hasn't been like, mm, we lack a Selu Knight. You know what I'm saying? I look so good. Glory. Oh, I get daylight now too. More smiting. I love that. Oh, cool. With this, with it, well, this aura lasts. You can restore vitality as a bonus action to heal yourself or nearby allies. Crusader's Mantle, Radiate a Holy Power that emboldens nearby allies. They do Radiant Damage. Okay, we have Daylight, Elemental Weapon. Ooh, I can revive somebody. These must be, yeah, these are my, um... Ooh, I can animate the dead now! I don't think I could do that before. These are Paladin things, and these are Oathbreaker things. Oh, baby, what do I want? I do like that, but I'm kind of a bang bang, hit really hard kind of person. I think the Crusader's Mantle will be useful coming up, fighting undead and whatnot, and fiends maybe. Level 9. I'm a big girl. Level 5 spells, holy cow, greater restoration, can remove charm, petrification, stun, planar binding, ooh, that's cool, conjure elemental, also cool, insect plague, we are so doing insect plague, contagion, ooh, wall of stone, mask your wounds, okay, hang on, we gotta do... What do I want to do? Heat metal. I haven't done that yet. Let's do insect plug. Cool. Action. He gets to adopt a new identity, changing your appearance. Ho ho ho. Okay. Under certain circumstances, 
Shadowheart looks so good in this armor, by the way. It fits her like a glove. Like, wow. I, I, it just it just looks really good on her. Trickery domains, seeming disguise up to four members of your party, dominate person. <laughs> that little icon is funny. They're like, step on me, and that's definitely the kind of thing Shadowheart would have and that people would ask her to do. Contagion, dispel evil and good. Okay, Aberration Celestials, Elementals, Fae, Fiends, and Undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Interesting. Flame Strike, holy moly, that's cool. Insect Plague, Planar Binding. Okay, hang on, we gotta do... So let's take away daylight and add that one. I do like the idea of dispel evil and good, aberration, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. We're gonna be in an undead area. She is. Uh, that will be good to have, I think. Not that we can use any of these spells right now because we're all tired. I do believe we are all very tired. Whatever shall it be? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Let's do. Let's do a short rest. I'll do that one later. Hmm. I didn't get it. Or she didn't get any of her level twos or anything back. Still breathing, despite everything. Yikes. Well, before we do anything crazy, we'll have to. If I say before we do anything crazy, we'll have to at do the a ready. long rest. But who knows what we're about to head into? Black. Spill the blood of Saluna See? and rise a warrior of Shah. Okay, hold up. We gotta. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we gotta have, you go first. No time for Danny. Yeah, no time. For, I did see. Did I see a lever. I did see a lever. I think it's gonna close the door behind us, though, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Waypoint. That's good. I'm so happy for us to have a waypoint here. This must be the pool, the point of no return. to be where initiates undertook their final preparations. The end is near. Okay. Okay, this... Though you struggled in my trials. Admirable, perhaps. She only struggled in one trial. Test awaits. Descend to the night soul. Make a sacrifice. Rise again. A dark. Shadowfell? The Shadow- I will not fail you, my lady. Oh, uh, the Shadowfell entrance? That's a whole other plane of existence. No wonder. Well, not no wonder. We got, we got planar being stuff. I'm what actually going to gonna maybe see if we- I'm going to switch one of hers to planar binding. I'm like, no wonder we got it, but we have gotten a few of those scrolls, so I did think we were going to have something where it's like, that would probably be useful, you know? Vanishment is fun. Guardian of Faith, also good. Animate Dead, also good. Blindness, I don't use blindness. I don't use Bane very often. Let's give her, let's take away Bane. Right? Uh, I don't know. I might keep that. Water. Let's, let's get rid of the water one for now. And we'll do the planar binding. Okay, I do think also we should do we should do a sleepy time. Once I read Deliver this. the night mother's mercy upon her enemies. You'd also think Shar would be like, hey, you don't have the necessary sacrifice. Shroud yourself in blackest night. Trust your secrets to the night. Uh let's see. There's apparently some things once we go past this pool of things that we won't be like what that we will fail on. Um, so I am going to say, just in case there is something, the only thing right now that I would be, like, hard upset about is, or that I would do a hard save, like, a hard reload for, is if Maul dies. Uh, if Zevlar dies, sorry, dude. If the Duke dies, sorry, dude. Like, I don't know, Zevlar, like, really, like, I get it, he's been through a lot, like, this probably broke him a little bit, and, like, that's why he broke with his people, and, like, everybody got taken, but, like, the Duke also, like, you know, like, yeah, having, like, a stable governmental leader isn't really, really important. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, I got things to do. <laughs> I can't. 
Um, let's though go back to camp. Long rest. I feel like we're about to have a, a, a maybe I should bring Lazel instead of like a Sterian maybe. Because I feel like we're about to have a come to Jesus, but like reverse talk, kind of a come to Char, but maybe, how do you say, a go the opposite direction, actually. You know what I mean? Like, we're gonna have a, it's gonna be a come to Char, but then be like, oh wait, this actually really sucks, I don't like it. Or like a, que a questioning of faith, essentially. I feel like we're gonna have a questioning of faith situation pop up here. Let's see if anybody has any I need a moment for the two of us. Go ahead. I'm listening. Man, I feel like the graphics almost look better on my laptop sometimes, or it's like almost smoother. I hope the recording reflects that. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? I also kind of feel like maybe the cutscenes have changed a little bit. Alright, nope, I think it's um... Unless somebody has anything for me, which I don't think so... Oh? Asterion does. What's up? The way she leered at me. Oh! The blood merchant. I can't get it out of my head. Yeah! It isn't like me. Not like me at all. I was being too... precious, wasn't I? No! We could have used her potion. No! A moment of unpleasantry doesn't matter if there's a fine reward. I should have just gritted my teeth as always. And let her have me for a bit. Absolutely the freak not. I, I should not have brought him. I didn't know she was going to be weird about it, but this has brought back all these things about probably Cassian or whatever his name is. Casador, like, oh, God, this brought back traumatic experiences for him, and I feel really terrible. Not that I could have known, but I feel really terrible. And it isn't. Like, well, and it kind of wasn't like him. Like, it's like, like, but I think... Like, and I even mentioned it, I was like, that seems a little weird. Not a little weird. It seems a little, like, like, oh, usually he's, like, he's the one to tease about it sometimes, you know? But, like, and if maybe somebody was coming on to him, like, not like they, not like he was a means to an end. You know what I mean? Like, she was, like, feral almost with it. And he was like, oh, no. And you can be as precious with yourself as you want, my boy. It makes me. Ah, I don't know if he'll like that though. I don't know. That's what I, that's what I want to say. It makes me sad to hear you talk about yourself like that. Why? I'm simply trying to be realistic. There's nothing more desirable in the world than a vampire, is there? Ooh, can we get some <laughs> deconstruction on vampire stands? Have been through all I have? You damn well are going to fight with what few assets the gods give you. But a part of me feels sick when I think about getting on my back. For breadcrumbs again. Sorry, I'm having a coughing fit in this terrible emotional time. Oh no! And dude, like, it's interesting, right? Because I've seen a lot of talk like this. Ugh, oh, my goodness. I've seen some talk like this, right? Like in some fantasy novels, very few, but in some. The, the women talk like this, right? Where it's like, listen, this is how I've been treated my whole life. You know, I've been looked at as like a whore, you know? And like, I've had to do things that I didn't want to do to survive, you know? And like, it's like, I didn't want to have to do that, but I, there's, there's a whole bunch of different like branching off paths of that where it's like, you know, I don't regret the power it gave me or like, you know, I do regret that it happened, like all these different things. But it's interesting, right? That it's coming from a man this is not the way it's usually phrased to people, you know, but I think it's invaluable to hear it from a different perspective, you know, and a slight deconstruction on, like, the weird obsession of, like, sexy vampires, too, like, like, I get it, we all, like, Vestarian's super popular for a reason, you know, but, like, and, but I don't know, I guess I have to say I was always a werewolf girl, <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know. I'm old now. I'm in my 30s. I don't care so much anymore. But I was never super into the vampires as much as I was, like, thinking the werewolves were cool. And so maybe I just kind of skipped that. But I have seen interesting dialogue on, like, how we can deconstruct the obsession with vampires. And, like, 
what it says about people, what it says about society, not necessarily about individuals, but, like, groups of people, and, like, what it says a lot about, like, society as well, which is, like, very generic, I know, it's, like, say, it's about society, but, like, I don't know, I'd have to look into it more, I've only, I, I've only been, like, seeing, like, bits and pieces of it, so I can't feel like that I, I, I could give, like, a really solid, in-depth, like, like, dive into it or anything, um, but... A lot of the relationship with vampires tend to be toxic, and they tend to be patriarchal. Um, so it is interesting to see that deconstructed from a male point of view. Also, you know what I mean, where he's saying it, and people are gonna be like, "Oh, poor guy." Wah. Whereas when it's a woman, sometimes even women are like, "Ooh, like that's like forbidden and sexy," and it's like, "No, it's equally as icky. It's equally as terrible." You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There's, like, something weird there. There's, like, a weird disconnect with, like, a lot of women with, like... And I'm being very generalist, and I don't know enough about the talk... I don't know about enough about this to talk extensively. But, like, it seems to me, personally, that a lot of books nowadays have very toxic relationships where the women are, like, taken advantage of, but it's seen as sexy, and the toxic relationship is seen as sexy. And, like, I don't like that. It makes me feel icky. You know, like, I, I don't have to read it, and I don't. But I certainly do want to know why people read it. And so I watch videos about, like, people being like, yeah, here's why this is gross, you know? And it's like, I don't know. It's, uh, there, there's definitely people out there who are like, not that I want to yuck your yum, and fiction isn't, you know, obviously, like, you can like things in fiction that you wouldn't like in real life. Boy, howdy, is that true, you know? Um, but, like, when it gets so, like, sensationalized... It's like, like, I've definitely read things where I'm like, hmm, I wouldn't like that in real life, you know, but I, I've read it and I enjoyed the book or whatever, you know, but it's like, sometimes when things get blown out of proportion, it seems like it's like, hold on, like, this doesn't feel right. Anyway, <clears throat> diatribe aside, um, this is, I just feel like this is interesting coming from Asterian too, in particular. I feel like it'll give a new lens maybe to the discussion. Um... I'm too pretty is a bit of a sore complaint. Uh, you have so much more than your looks going for you. Is that the best I can come up with? This sounds so... This, have you even enjoyed having sex in the last decades? Or is it, like, softer? Like, have you even enjoyed it? You know? Like, obviously not. I don't know. I'm, I, I hope this is the best... Or this is the nicest one, because I don't care if he doesn't like me being nice. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you have so much more than your looks going for you. I had nothing at all for so long. Not even my body. That was owned by Cazador. To be sent out to tempt fools into his palace. I have bedded thousands of people. Oh Half of gosh. them I barely remember. Most of them didn't even grant me temporary bliss. It should have been so easy to let the drow use me for her fantasy, but perhaps, uh, you showed me I have enough strength. I don't need to. You don't! Oh, I'm gonna cry! You don't! Like, he's funny, he's, he's sharp, he's cunning, you know, he likes to read, he likes what? Like, there's, it doesn't even matter if there's nothing crazy, like, he has a personality outside of this, and, like, I know this could be like a trauma response where it's like in order to get safety or what little little that you're allowed to have, like you have to like get on your back, you know, or whatever, like he said. And it's like he's had he's had thousands of years not thousands, he's had hundreds of years, I think. I mean, something like that. A long time to be dealing with this. And like that's got that's gotta mess you the frick up. But no, buddy, if you don't want to, you don't have to. You don't you don't got I'm not gonna make you do nothing you don't wanna do. And I would never... Uh, oh, interesting. I mean, that's one way to look at it, I guess, but like, meh. I'm torn between these two. Because he's not. He's not free yet, but it's like, I would never ask you to do any... Yeah, I think, and I would never ask you to. It isn't worth the scars anymore. <gasps> Oh, uh, uh, did you hear that? He was starting to cry. Asterius' voice actor is so good. I'm so bad at remembering his name. Oh, I'm dying. 
but oh, he's so good. I did think that was weird, and like uh, that was a weird interaction, like with the woman, right? And I was like, ew, you know. But like, I'm glad that Asterion was like, hey, 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 I need to talk about that, <laughs> you know. And I'm glad we had to talk about it because I think it's important. Important stuff. Okay, I don't think anybody else has anything that they want from me. Okay, bedtime. Curse to put my hands on everything. Yay! Oh, it just auto selected one of the packs. Okay, that's fine. Why don't I meditate? I'm an elf. Auto save successful. Woo! Time to go. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Dang it, I wanna go. I think I wanna bring Lizelle. I don't know if it'll be. Wait, do we have no we don't have I kinda wanna bring Lizelle. Asterion will maybe be useful in the shadow. Well, no, let's bring these out. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the vibe. I'm feeling the vibe, and we can let Asterion chill and like have a grand old time reading his cursed tome. And um, housebreaker house in will. Where did I put these out? Carlac, where's these out? Lizel, what are you doing up here? Were you even in my... She wasn't in my range last time. Are you okay? Are you being weird up here? Greetings. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm not fancy. She can iron golem now. Not an iron golem. She gets the trait iron golem. Alright. I've been recording for like 30 minutes. Yeah, let's at least get a start. Oh, I should have had Shadow Heart do it. Last step. Okay. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Oh, do I want to? Shadow heart question mark? I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna invade Shadow Heart. Nothing. Shadow Heart continues her prayer in silence. I feel like this probably wants me to do like the look inside her mind, but like I don't know man, like if she's not gonna tell me, then I'm not gonna pry. And like, I don't know, as a paladin even if I'm an oathbreaker, like you don't, I don't know. This is a sacred moment, even if it's with an entity that, like a deity that my person doesn't like, you know. All right. No need to dash in ahead of me. I'm ready. What's going on? Nothing. Just a show of respect. Trust me, you wouldn't want to displease her. Not here. Let's continue. I feel like she's a little bit afraid, honestly. Uh -huh. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Do you want to go? Yep. <clears throat> Stay of the region, good change. Some active quest may become. Yes. Oh. As you step into the silent water, a foreign dread travels through you. It Should curls I? its way up your leg. Should I have Shadow Heart do this? Tight. <gasps> oh! <laughs> and with
with that, we'll go ahead and call it there. It's an excellent cliffhanger spot, if I do say so myself. Unplanned, but I should have known better than to try to keep recording, honestly, because stuff just escalates from here. Gets It gets pretty wild, so hopefully you all are ready for that. And so am I. Emotionally, I'm not. So <laughs> um, thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.